Hello, we're live, yay! <laughs> it's Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and it's Tuesday night, so we're live streaming. This is the crafting live stream. I've got my microphone on, everything's plugged in. Who's here already? Taylor and Marvel, uh, Willow and Zadel, everybody's here. I'm sorry I'm out of breath, y'all. <laughs> I was like a minute late. Liam in his room like heard some sounds in the roof, so there may be like a mouse or something in there. And so I had to like run in there real quick, and I was like, ah, oh, it's 9.30, it's time to start, I gotta get my stuff on. Anyway, long story short, here we are, and I'm out of breath, so everyone calm down. And by everyone, I mean me. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome to our Tuesday night live stream. We do two different live streams on Tuesdays. Um, the second and fourth Tuesdays, we do a tack chat, where my co-host and I clean our saddles and bridles, and we drink some wine, and we chat about horsey topics. And then on the first and third Tuesdays, which this is the first one, and we do a crafting live stream. So tonight we are using our yarn and we're making horse ear bonnets. Let me hold them up. This is the doofy one I made. Hang on, why is it? Why did my phone go off? You guys, what's happening? Good, well, oh, nice kitty ears. <laughs> Send the cats on the strange sounds. Yes, well, I've got two of them that are definitely hunters. Uh, two of my kitties are. So hello, hello, everybody. And Kelly, y'all give Kelly some love because she had a fall off her horse the other day and she's recovering. I thought crocheting might be good for you in your recovery because I know you like ear bonnets on your horses. Come crochet some, some ear bonnets with me. I know, I like wearing weird things on my head. I'm a little, I'm a little weird. My phone is doing weird things. Like it's like buffering and stuff. So if I'm not totally in the chat, y'all please bear with me, I apologize. Um, Where's my diet Dr. Pepper? Hang on. If I'm going to have technical di difficulties, I've got to have my diet Dr. Pepper. That means we'll be burping in just a few minutes. Y'all get ready. Okay. So, oh, Miracle says hi. <laughs> so, okay, here is our, oh, I, let me show you a picture first. First of all, I printed out a pattern because I got tired of looking at it on my phone. And for those who don't have horses, this is what a horse ear bonnet is. If you're not a horse person and you just watch for the unicorn and the centaur, whatever's, um, you're like, huh? Uh, these go on on top of their ears, underneath the bridle, and it helps keep insects and dust and dirt and things out of the horse's ears. It helps keep everything nice and clean and neat and tidy. So I have. Gauge is important. If you don't know crochet, gauge is important, which means like if you knit a pattern, but your yarn is fatter and your hook or needle is fatter than what the pattern says, you're going to get a bigger thing. So I knit with too big a yarn, <laughs> with too big a yarn and too big a needle. And this is the first thing I ever crocheted. I put a picture, this is what, I put this on Sunny. We put, I put this on the Instagram and maybe I put it on Facebook, the Instagram. There I go again, sounding like an old lady. I put it on the Instagram um, of Sunny in this, it's too big. I was gonna try it on one of the draft horses, but I think it's even too big for a draft horse head. So uh, this is where the ears would be and I would cut out giant fabric. I don't know what kind of giant crazy headed horse would wear this, but this was my first attempt, and if you know crochet, you're probably looking at this and cringing and girl me too. This is just, this shouldn't have happened. That is a mess. Y'all, what is wrong with me? Look at that. That is shameful. Like, what even is that? Anyway, so that is what I'm trying to figure out. I hope the chat is caught up. So there's my thing. What am I working on now? So now that was my first starter attempt. So now I've got a more serious attempt happening with this lavender yarn. Hang on. Let me disentangle it from all the other yarns. Oh, my God. Come on. Really? Why is my life? And, of course, I don't put it down. I'm so hard-headed. I'm just going to keep holding this. Okay. So I've got this. Um, oh, shoot. My hook came out. Y'all, crochet is, here's what I've discovered about crocheting. I've been a knitter for years, and I love knitting. And I always resisted knowing crochet, because I'm like yarn, and it makes a thing, and it's the same thing, right? But it's not. When you when I drop a needle and the needle falls out, like the knitting is over. I have to frog the whole thing and like be done with it and just cry. But this, for some reason, it stays nice and tight, and the loop stays there, and the needle drops out all the time, and I'm like, ah! oh, it's fun. 
That's crazy. So this is what I've got so far. This is a little more horse sized. This is a little more horse sized. And the stitches are looking a little bit better. I know it might be hard to tell, but I don't have quite as much of the stupidness on the edges. So now if you, who crochets? Um, let's see, I don't have anything else going on here. Let me look back and see if I can see people. Taylor say in blue, because I want to know who's crocheting. Are y'all people crocheting with me? Or are you doing something else? If you're not crocheting or knitting, what are you doing? Let me know. Have you knit or crocheted a horse ear bonnet before? Let me know that too. So I have gone to Ravelry.com, which is a great place to go for patterns. You have to make yourself a little um, uh, profile and, you know, sign up and register and all that good stuff. But they have lots of patterns for free. Now, the problem was I could only find a couple of horse ear bonnet patterns for free. There were a lot of them to pay for and they're probably worth a couple bucks, but I was, I was hard headed and I wanted to find one for free. So I did, this is the one I found. And so I'm using this and let's see where I am in the pattern. Let me show you. So if you're not familiar with patterns, they will, uh, the pattern will show you what you need and it shows what different stitches you use and um, then the instructions for each section. Um, now, I didn't know what any of these stitches were. The stitches we're using in this pattern are chain stitch, slip stitch, single crochet, and double crochet. And I was like, what? So I went on YouTube, and Happy Berry Crochet is the channel that I subscribe to. It's a pretty active channel. She uploads regularly, and there's lots of fun patterns like dolls and flowers and things like that. But there's a whole series of beginner tutorials, like stitch by stitch. So you look up Happy Berry Crochet, and you look up Double Crochet, and there is a whole tutorial showing you exactly how to do the stitch. That's how I learn. And then you practice and you mess up and the thing you're making looks ugly and then you cry and then you do it again and it looks better. <laughs> and that's art. <laughs> All right. If y'all are chatting with me, I cannot see a thing. What is going on? People, if people are chatting with me, y'all forgive me, love me. Uh oh, that means I need more Diet Dr. Pepper. This is like my security blanket tonight. So I was going to also maybe demonstrate a couple of stitches using one of these yarns. Does anybody have a preference? Here is the gray. I've got a gray. <clears throat> I've got this magenta sparkly. I wanted to see how it would look under the lights. I am going to back out of this and try again. Hang on. Five watching now, y'all. I'm gonna click on it again. Oh, see, y'all are talking about stuff. Okay. I was missing this. My, I told y'all my phone was not updating. Hang on, let me update the chat. Wait. <laughs> I can't wait to wear these. Uh, Marvel, last week's second horse lesson, I was in a huge pure black corridors. Oh, that's so awesome. Crochet and is very forgiving. Yes, Taylor. Yes, Zadel's drawing. Nice, nice. On Willers Outside in the Forest. That's beautiful. That's my little servitor friend. All right, Bud is here. Bud, hey, I was in a YouTube Facebook group and I met a friend of yours. Dang it, what's his name? Russ something, who moved back here in March because I was in this, um, I was in a, I'm in a couple of different Facebook groups, but there's one just about your YouTube channel and how to deal with things. So I posted today, today about how to deal with creepers because I do get the occasional like creepy comment from a dude like, do, I'm just trying to make unicorn videos here, okay? Can you not? But dudes will message the weirdest things. So I was like asking for advice because you're. I'm trying to build a community here and engage with people, but I, I don't want to engage with everyone. <laughs> some people are gross. So I wanted some advice. Anyway, this guy Russ came up and he was like, hey, Savannah person, and he knows you. So anyway, uh-oh, hang on. I'm not putting user in timeout now. I'm gonna just up, I'm gonna re upload every once in a while. So, again, y'all, if I'm doing something in the chat, um, if y'all, um, if I'm not responding, please forgive me. 
I was just going to demonstrate a little bit for the people who haven't crocheted and are interested in learning. Um, this is not really the tutorial, but like with knitting, you need like a long tail, however long you're going to need it. But with crochet, you just start on the little end here and you just make a little knot, cross it over. Hang on. Just make the, I make the little, it's just a little slip knot. One little slip knot, that's all you're doing. And then you hook it. So I'm pulling down on the tail. Can we see what I'm doing here? I wonder if I need to do it this way. So I'm pulling down on the little tail and then I'm hooking it through. Uh oh, can I do this? So I, this is the chain stitch. So you're just making a loop and then pulling. The yarn through to make another loop. You can't even see this. Look at my life, y'all. Hang on, let me move the chair around. We're gonna sit here on the same side. We're gonna sit on the same side. Okay. Can we see now? Look at me, I'm doing a thing. Hang on, I need to make the stitch wider and I pull it through. I have to make my own music because of copyrights. Okay, so see now I've got a little chain of stitches. Look how cute that is, how awesome. So, um, Shell, do you know what a Nico is? No, I don't. So, <laughs> Willow, yeah, say, uh, demonstrating since you don't know how, um, I, I would, this is a fun thing to do, crocheting and knitting. I really enjoy it. I, don't, I do it like while I'm watching TV. I'm just gonna, can I even? I'm gonna get closer. I just want you guys to watch this. So there you go. And now like if I'm going back, I can do, I don't even remember the single crochet because I haven't done it yet on here. But then I do a double crochet stitch, which is to pull it over this way. Again, this is not really a tutorial. There we go. And I put that back in. Then we wrap it around again, pull it through once, and then you got to wrap it around. I'm so, this is involved, but there's a whole tutorial, you guys. And this is why you practice. And there we go. There is a triple crochet stitch or double crochet stitch. So then I can wrap it around again. And then where would I go into the next stitch? Wrap it around, do a thing, then wrap it around again. And wrap it around again and pull it all through and see it's starting to make a thing. It's, ma it's making a thing. Okay, <laughs> so that is that. I wonder if I should do, no, I'm gonna do slip stitch. So that was just a little thing. So now I have to figure out my pattern, okay? Here's where we are. Oniko is a person with cat ears and a tail, aw. You know, I used to have, my mother made me a little cat tail that she would safety pin to my butt when I was a little girl. And then I, I also had ears pretty much like this, but they would, they had little pipe cleaners on the end of it. My mom would bobby pin them into my um, hair and I wore them around everywhere. In other words, I've been doing this for about 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Neko. Sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Neko. Thank you. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Thank you for correcting my pronunciation. All right, y'all. More diet. So where are we? Let's catch up. If anybody's just joining the live stream, we are crocheting horse ear bonnets which is this thing right here. <laughs> We're gonna make them for our babies. I'm a knitter, I taught myself how to crochet, so I'm not like this amazing crochet person, and that's, I'm teaching everybody how to do it. No, I'm figuring this out myself. So this is what I've got so far on the second one that I made. The first one I made turned out horrifying, and it was way too big because gauge matters. So hang on, let me figure out where I am. Okay, I did the neck part. I did the ear part. Hang on. I see ears. I did the ear part. Okay, so now I'm on the straight front part. Excuse me, there was the Dr. Pepper burp. Neck part, then I've done the ear part, which is here. So we have done, I have done this part, then this is the neck part, this goes over the horse's neck, and then this is the top part that goes between the ears, and this is the straight front part, and that's what I'm about to work on. So I have just gotten finished slip stitching all the way back over here. So this is where we are on the pattern. 
That's what we're doing. Okay, I'm in love with basically anything to do is magical. Me too. I've always felt like not quite human. Like, I'm kind of different than the others. <laughs> um, so, I, I figure it's got to be something. There's some kind of animal in there. I've always felt like I was a centaur, but I've always really strongly identified with cats as well. It's probably why I have four of them. I'm wearing cat ears right now, and I'm kind of ridiculous. Um, so <laughs> Uh-oh, Marvel and Willow. I'm shipping this in the uh, chat right now. <laughs> okay. Straight front part. Okay, so here's what we're starting on. Uh, on row 13, I have to do three chain stitches and then do this. There's a pattern that it describes here. Oh my God, I don't want this to be boring. I didn't want this to be boring. I don't wanna just be like sitting here figuring out a pattern. Okay, three chain stitches. If I mess it up, I mess it up. This is it, I'm going for it. I should start a new one now. Okay, so I have to do three chain stitches. So one, two, and three. That's when I just pull three, and that's when I just pull the little loop. So I did three chain stitches on the end. That's where we are. Okay, and then chain, double chain six times. Okay, am I going down this way? Chain, double chain. Hey, <laughs> guys. Intermission while I figure this out. Chain, double chain. Is that just doing a double chain stitch? I think it is. And now I'm going down that front part. Oh, that's just the double crochet. I'm not doing the pattern. So six double crochet stitches. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Talk amongst yourselves. Belgian gelding horses, the world's 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 largest horse. Hang on. Oh no, shit! I was just teasing y'all. Don't panic. <laughs> yes, Belgians. Now a gelding is a male horse that has been castrated of any breed, and a Belgian draft horse. Um, there is a kind. I think it's Bentois. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but those are like massive Belgian draft horses. Yes. Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. I need to do six chain stitches here. Oh, shoot. There goes my loop. Is that supposed to take me all the way across to the thing? Ugh, I have to keep looking at this stupid thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that what that's supposed to be? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. But then what do I do after that? Let's chain, double chain. I'm gonna do that and see what happens. I don't know what's right here, so I'm just gonna do something. Chain. We're gonna do a double chain stitch right through here. Y'all, I'm a mess. Why did I think this would be a good idea? Not every idea lands. I really love the idea of this, but like crocheting on a live stream is boring. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh. Anyway, hey, speaking of boring on the live streams, I'm dying to like spice this up. I want to download some kind of software or something where I can have graphics on the screen and then we could play like games or something or have polls or trivia questions or whatever. Like, you know, what's the biggest horse? <clears throat> and um, I don't know, but like have fun and win prizes and whatever. Well, I mean, not like win prizes, but okay. So I did a chain and now I'm going to do a double chain in the next stitch, which is right chain. And I'm putting it through here. Okay. And this is another one. And this. I do this. Y'all, I think this is right. How did I end up with that? Did I do that wrong? <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this out and I'll do it for a little bit. I'm gonna go back to that chain of three. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna try here again. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I feel dumb, y'all, shh, shh, shh. Okay, so it's chain double. Okay, so I start here. Oh no, but I have to wrap it over. Michelle. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to keep up with it. Uh, done perfectly, oh, if it was done perfectly, the live stream would be no fun. You know what, I don't know. I'm going for some semblance of professionalism here. I'm trying to look like I know what I'm doing. 
I'm not sure about this, y'all. That was one. So this will be two. I'm trying this again. Because see, the way that yarn is, it's like little fibers twisted together. And then sometimes the hook will go through like one string of all three of them. See how like, see how that, how it separates and the hook will go through one and then it gets all hung up on itself and it's dumb. It gets stupid. So Marvel drawn in your bed. I have a little bed. I made a, I make a nest in my bed when I'm doing like video editing and I'll like have my pillows all around me when I'm editing the YouTube videos. Did I do this right? Did I do a chain stitch first? Were y'all watching me? I don't even know. Taylor, I know you're watching me. <laughs> okay, I think that is, oh, maybe that's it, because it's supposed to, because that makes it fan out a little bit. Okay, okay, I think I know what that's doing. I think I know what this is happening. This is probably why my last one was stupid, because I didn't do these like this. Okay, so one, two. It's sometimes hard to tell, like, what is the next stitch? Am I putting it in a stupid place? Because if you put it in a stupid place, then the whole thing looks stupid after that. And then I'm, like, concentrating on this. But then you guys can't see what I'm doing. Michelle. Maybe I should have set up this live stream differently. Ooh, see, So see how it kind of, like... I how it fans a, a little bit, like it's it's wider at the top here. <clears throat> Y'all, I swear my channel is not sponsored by Tiny Dr. Pepper. We have a new centaur student and she showed up the other day with a Diet Dr. Pepper and I nearly tackled her for it. I was like, one of us, one of us. Oh my God, I forgot to tag Suzanne in the live stream. <laughs> I'm terrible. So this is one, two, three, four, and I need to do this two more times. So I am doing a chain stitch, and then I am now doing a double chain, which in the, this, is this my one? Is this my one? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to do, there it is. There it is. It peeks through. Okay. Then we are going to bring that through and then complete that stitch. If you're an experienced crocheter, crocheter, is that how you say it? Crocheter? And I'm doing something horrifyingly wrong, please let me know. Do a good straight stitch. Nice. Hand sewing. My great aunt Zelma could do these tiny, perfect little hand stitches. It was incredible. I've never met anyone else who could hand stitch like that. It was just beautiful. Zade, I'll need a taller desk to draw and lay on the floor and hunched over. Oh, it hurts your shoulders and back when you don't have like the right kind of area to do your art in. Ugh. So, oh, what am I using to film this? Oh, I'm filming. It. Hey, Rebecca. Um, we're, I'm filming this on my um, MacBook. And I was thinking maybe for the next Tack Chat, I'm going to try to film with the phone and then have the computer off to the side. And I may be able to see more of what I'm doing and have more control of the chat that way. So, I'm one of your kind. What, what do you mean would that count, Willow? Hang on. Am I one of your kind? Um, if you're a magical being, you are definitely one of my kind. If you are, yeah, yes, you darling little thing, you are definitely one of my kind. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here. To that, we drink more Diet Dr. Pepper. Don't find a lot of that out in the woods, though. I was going to do a, um, the centaur video that's coming up is going to be like what, um, uh, what centaurs eat. A lot of people want to know what centaurs eat. So I may be eating a little bit of that. In that one. So exciting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I think I need one more stitch on here. <laughs> yes. Rebecca says one of us. <laughs> I need this chat up here like this. This is why I need to make like a little, what if I had it on the, Marvel, I'm going to be a centaur or a servitor. <laughs> yes, one of us. That's what I want to do with this channel, y'all. I want to find all the people who were like, am I really human? <laughs> because it doesn't feel that way some days. <laughs> all right, next stitch. I'm doing my last one of these weird little fan out stitches. And again, I'm being selfish. I'm bringing all this up here. 
I'm gonna pull my chair over. Hang on. I'm gonna pull my iron board over here so that I can, oh my gosh, what am I revealing about my life over here, by the way? It's just my iron and my phone. Okay. But I wanted to put the phone up like so I could see it. This is my short bus operation. I've got my phone up against like my vitamin bottle, my Walmart <laughs> vitamin bottle. Okay. I did the chain stitch, didn't I? I can't lose where I am in the stitches, you guys. Okay. Did I do them all? One, two, three, four, five. No, I did not do them all. I did a chain stitch and now I'm doing the double stitch. So here we go. We are finding the next little loopy loop of fabric. And if it's tight, I have to kind of fight for it. I feel another Dr. Pepper burp coming on you guys. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, mom, if you're watching. I love you. Okay. So there we go. Now we've got those six stitches in the first part of that pattern. Where are we? So I'm just going to be weird and list all the magical things I know. Okay. Okay, so that was chain and double chain six times. I did that. Now two double chain stitches. So this no more little chain stitch at the top. We just do a regular double stitch for a, which one is this for? And a one and a two. Okay, so two, this is another double crochet. I keep saying double chain. I'm an idiot. It's double crochet. So it's like all of this complicated stuff and that's one stitch. People be tripping. People be tripping. Am I even on the right row? Hang on, you guys. <laughs> Okay, I wanna be on this one. Okay, I'm gonna be on that one. If it's wrong, then it's just wrong. I will just, I, this, I gotta make a bunch of these. Okay, so I did two chain stitches, regular double, double crochet. So now I need to do that. Hang on, pause. Do 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 chain. Okay, twenty one chain stitches. Okay, this is the part where I do. Oh wait, that was supposed to be right here. Then you guys, all of that that we just did were supposed to take me all the way over here. I needed to be like doing spacing it out a little more. Here we go. We're pulling it out. I decided we got to do it over again. So by the end of that, okay. Now I know what we're doing. This is a mess. I should have poured wine. I should have poured wine for this one. Y'all. So is this going to be for our tax? I don't know. The lavender one might look best on Weasley. Um, and honestly, if this one turns out really crappy, it's not going on anybody. <laughs> I'm just going to be like figuring it out. <laughs> so I have a bunch of different yarns. And I think once I just, uh, my whole month of September is me figuring out how to make these stinking things and doing things like I just did where I'm like, oh crap, that's not what we're doing, is it? Okay. So, oh, I heard Scott just got home. Hello, Scott. Hello. <laughs> We're doing, yes, we are crocheting horse ear bonnets, and I'm messing up. Good job. <laughs> messing up divinely. Yes. So, yeah, quick pause for wine. Oh, yeah, hey, you just got home. Would you pour me a glass of wine? Oh, my God, I was thinking about it all the way home. I cannot wait. This is amazing. This is just what I was thinking. Oh, my God, it's so funny. There's white wine already open in the refrigerator. Thank you. Who said that? Rebecca says hi, Scott. Hi. Hang on. And that was Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. You in the live stream tonight for being like, hmm, pause for wine. Why pause when I could send one of my minions? <laughs> okay, so what was I doing? So this, um, oh no, that is the pat. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Okay. Hi, other person I don't know. That's my husband, Scott Willow. 
<laughs> Scott is the bomb. Yes, his name is Scott. That's my husband. That's Liam's dad. Okay, I'm going to do one chain. I know what I'm doing now. I did that stitch wrong anyway. This is the mesh pattern. I'm not even, I'm not even drinking, and I'm messing everything up. You're very expensive wise. Did you put it in a plastic cup? I love you. I mean, I thank you. Did. Well, I mean, it, thank you. It came out of a metal screw top, so. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is that one we had. That, this is that Riesling that tasted like Moscato. Adriana, if you're watching, this is that Riesling. Mm, that's all right. It's doing the job. Okay. Everybody says hi, Scott. Hi, everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. So here is what I'm doing. I am skipping stitches. I am putting things here. Let me show this again. Okay. We're doing something, and now for something completely different. This is going to be like the worst live stream ever. So then I do a chain stitch and then I do another one of these double stitches, but I skip that one and do this one. And then I do this. Okay. Nope. Wrong way. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, there. So it's making the little meshy pattern here. That's what I was supposed to be doing. That's why I didn't do it the first time. I was like, you guys, I didn't do this the first time. It's amazing. And I was right. I was half right. I was half right. I did it the last time, but it was wrong. And I should feel wrong. Wait, is that what I meant to do? No, it isn't. I have to fix it. Y'all, I'm a mess. I've only had two sips of wine. What even is my excuse? What even is my excuse? Yes, our tax bumped his little head for y'all um, um, who have been following on, along with our taxes misadventures, so to speak. So see, look here, we've got the mesh pattern happening, and it looks ugly as it he as it's healing. It's not it's not like big and red and swollen or anything, but it still looks it's ugly, y'all. Like Liam got totally grossed out today at the bar, and he was like. Bleh. <laughs> It was pretty sick. It was gnarly. It was pretty gnarly. Okay. So here we are. We're back on track and I'm feeling good about myself again. I'm feeling confident. All of that negative self-talk from earlier in the live stream. It's over now, y'all. I'm on it. I am the bomb. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so there's like one, two, three, four, and then I'll do five and six, and then I do two. See, that's it's gonna look good. You guys are gonna, you're gonna see. Willow is the fawn. There are willow. There are the sweetest little deer out at Chimney Field, where um, where the horses are. The deer, they're white-tailed deer, I think, but they're a very small species down here on in uh, coastal Georgia, and they um, the adults don't get much bigger than like big dogs. Like I mean, a, a Great Dane is bigger than the deer that are down here. And last year there were these twin fawns. There were a mama who had little twins, and we kept seeing them in the paddocks uh, grazing with the horses. And they'd be just two little spotted fawns, and they were the sweetest things. And um, they got to where they like they didn't run off when they saw me and Liam anymore. And then we'd go trail riding. We'd see them on the trails too. So we'd be like out in the trails, and then all of a sudden there'd be like two little little boy, little baby deer, and they were so sweet. The babies. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I need wait one more right here. Here's where we're going with this. So yes, Artax has dear friends that he hangs out with. That's Liam going to bed. I'm supposed to be doing it secretly. I know, but they want to know. Oh no, I ruined it. It was supposed to be a secret hand signal. It's the point of it. I know, it's the point of it. We talked about this. He was giving me deep I messed it up. I'm the worst mom. I'm the worst mom ever. Okay, one more and then I do a double chain. Okay, double chain, double crochet. Why can't I stop saying that, you guys? Why am I like this? Okay, I'm getting this thing done. I can't believe, if any people, like random people are like uh, clicking onto this live stream, they're like, this is a live stream of a middle-aged lady crochet. 
<laughs> Where's my wine? <laughs> okay. What is in my cup, y'all? It might be a gnat. This is the south. It's too sweet. This Riesling is too sweet. I want to be in a magical family. Aw. Well, Scott is a wizard. We're not exactly sure what Liam is yet. I call him a little elf kid, but he's definitely a little magical soul. We are weirdos. We own it. We own it. Okay. So now I'm just doing a double crochet on the next one. Is that right? Yes, I'll do two more of these. Okay, can you guys even see it? I am swear, I start concentrating on what I'm doing and then I forget that maybe like the camera can't see what's happening. Okay, and then one more of these, like right in that, no, is that all we're doing? One more, yes, one more. Okay. One more double crochet. Y'all, I messed it up. Liam didn't want to be acknowledged on the live stream. Why am I like this? Oh no. Okay, I messed it up again and I've got to pull out the stitching I just did. And then do it again, but it's kind of easy to do that. Crochet is easier to fix than knitting. I still like knitting better. Don't get excited. Okay. So now, 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 now we do 21 um, chain stitches because we're going to attach this part to this part. Do, 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 do. So I can just sit here and do chain stitches with you guys. But you're in this family though. Oh, oh my mom is a fairy. My dad is a werewolf. Mm. I know a werewolf and he's not very savory. I'm not, hashtag not all werewolves. Right. Dragon. I know dragons. I know, I know a couple of dragons. The dragons are hit or miss. Okay, one, two, help me count y'all. Three, because I stink at counting. Four, five, six, seven, eight, this is so exciting. Nine, 10, um, 11, 12, getting closer, 13, nobody panic, 14, it's happening, 15, 16, 17, give me some more yarn, 18, um, what are we on, oh my god, 18, oh, I almost lost it, 19, what, 20, uh, tell what I want. Da, 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 da. See? Okay, and then we're going to. I have to make sure it's not twisted. Don't get it twisted. Okay, where's my line? So, my sister's a werewolf. That is some crazy magical family you've got there. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you guys can't see this on the live stream. <laughs> Scott's about to take a shower. Let's see, my friend Chandra's a mermaid. And of course, Adriana is a unicorn. That is what unicorn and centaur, that's how we started because she was the unicorn and I was the centaur and we were starting this magical horse business together. Um, she has had to back out of like being a full partner, but now she's like my trainer and my advisor. Um, she's my writing trainer pretty much because she's incredible. Um, so we're going to connect it here. Hang on. And I made sure it didn't go. So where am I now? 21 and then three double chain stitches. Three double chain stitches. So I'm going in here to the corner. Oh no. Did I do that? Okay. Hang on. Okay. Here we go, we're back doing this. Boop -doo -doo. Okay. And then one more right beside it, right? And I gotta go through both layers. 
did I get that right? Did I do that right? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm kind of nervous. Did I mess it up? Did I do it wrong? <laughs> uh, okay. So see, now we've got, here's what we've got. It almost looks like underpants. Hmm. <laughs> a Clydesdale centaur. I'm kind of a Clydesdale centaur. Mm, tiger's paw print too. Family doesn't mean a match. Oh, can I can't come over and get my hopes trimmed. Um, King Louie has joined in on watching. Oh, is that your kitty, Taylor? Don't you have a cat? Love me some kitties. I swear I saw a cat in one of your pictures where you were making stuff. Or was that somebody else? Y'all, my brain. My brain, my brain, my brain, my brain, my brain. Who watched the new video with Blue, um, Getting Blue? Blue was actually my friend Amy, her um, her miniature horse. So Blue technically does not belong to me, but she has promised me that I get to play with him and make him a little unicorn horn and drive him around. Oh my God, I love Blue so much. And his little Winnie, his little me. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so cute. So. Yes, your fluffy buddy. Zadel, you saw that with little Blue. I used to know Blue way back when. I have actually driven Blue. Driving a miniature horse is a lot different than driving um, a draft horse. Um, the draft horses are just real slow, like, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. and the little miniature horses are like, it's absolutely crazy. Okay, so, oh, I was supposed to do three of these double crochet stitches. I said double crochet this time. Da da da. Okay. One more of these, and that's got to go through both of those like that. Oh my gosh, y'all. Sometimes I feel like I can watch something while I'm doing crochet, and sometimes I feel like I need to concentrate. Like if it's a pattern, I can lose track of where I am. And then I'm like, wait, how many was that? Was that 21 or 22? Oh no. <laughs> okay, then I do my other pattern. Okay, so here's where we set up this where I do two stitches, two of the double crochet stitches and then I work in the mesh pattern all the way across and then do that over here. So, oh, we talk, Blue is a precious cinnamon roll. He really is. Didn't you squee when you saw him? Oh, I can't help it. I just, I squeal every time I see him out there. He's so cute. Y'all, I'm getting shiny under these lights even though my air conditioner's on. We want a highlight on the cheekbones, not on the sides of the nose. <gasps> I'm just about out of wine. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. But hopefully it'll make the rest of the crocheting easier. Rebecca, if you missed tuning in earlier, I don't know if you got to witness the fail that was my first attempt at crocheting. It's just a mess. It's terrible, honestly. Um, patterns also, some people are different. Like these are written pattern instructions right here. I printed out there is also a chart available where like each um, little bit of the graph there is a symbol that represents the stitch and some people their brains work more on uh, charts than written instructions so if that's you there are patterns like this that exist remember go to ravelry.com r-a-v-e-l-r-y.com if you're already on there good for you and um, oh on there I'm not unicorn and centaur on there I've been on there forever um, I'm Urban Cowgirl on there. I don't know if you, you have friends on Ravelry. Do we do that? So. Oh, it might fit Hedwig. I thought about that. I want to try it on Paige, that big teal one, but I think it might be even too big for her. <laughs> Squealing because of how cute Blue is. He really is. And he's so funny and sweet. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to work in the mesh pattern now, which is to do one chain stitch and then skip one, and we're going over here. Yeah, da, 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 da. So we are just crocheting, and we're so happy. I do a chain stitch, and then I do a double crochet, and I'm going through this one. Excuse me, that was me again. Y'all, so gassy. Like why? Like why? How many non-human creatures you draw? Yes, Marvel Make Stuff has a YouTube channel where she does animations. Anybody in the chat wants to check her channel out, go over there and drop a sub on Marvel. Some cute, she did an animation for me when I did the baby set, the What About Centaur Babies um, 
Uh, it's so sweet. I need to like put that on one of my playlists or something. Can we put other people's uh, videos and playlists? If we can, I'm totally putting that one in there because it's just adorable. Where she did a, a computer animation of a centaur baby. It was so sweet. I loved it. Okay. So here we go. Yes, now, uh, like I said, I do have a new student, and when I teach um, adult beginners riding lessons, and I call those my centaur lessons, because in a month, I'm going to teach you how to be part horse and part human. And of course, it takes longer than that to learn the nuances of horseback riding and equestrianism and good horsemanship, but a month can take you, give you a nice introduction to it. So we just had, my new student and I just had our second lesson together, and it was so much fun. The first lesson she did with Weasley, and the first lesson is all about groundwork. It's all about learning how to handle horses safely on the ground, haltering, leading, um, you know, all of these ways to communicate with them, how to interpret uh, their body language, how they see you, et cetera, et cetera. And then so then we just did lesson two, which was learning about tacking up and basics of the seat. So she got to actually get on and walk around. And we use Sunny for that one. So let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, Marvel, we're not doing negative self-talk in the live chat, darling. Your illustrations are darling. I would not have sent people to your channel if I did not believe so. <laughs> you must believe in yourself when you are on Unicorn and Centaur time, honey. We are extra here. We take up space in the world. You have to, there are so many places in the world where you can't be your nerdy self, but on my channel, you get to be your actual nerdy self. So let's not be negative talking here. Mwah. My darling little creature. We got nothing but love here. Okay, I'm getting to the end over here. I'm getting to the end. I gotta figure out when I'm gonna do my other stitches. Okay, one more of this mesh pattern. Okay. Hang on, y'all. I'm about to do some reg. I'm about to get to the end of my row. Okay, now I just do like two regular crochet stitches. Say chain because it says CH in the pattern. Okay. Hang on, I'm making hat face. You guys, I can't believe earlier I did part of this pattern that I've already done before and I did it differently and thought I was having a revelation. This is my entire life where I'm like, oh, I've discovered this amazing new thing. And then turn now, turns out I'm an idiot. Okay. And I don't mean that, again, look at me. I just told Marvel not to do negative self-talk and here I am talking about myself and telling me I'm an idiot. Mm-mm, 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 I just got a lecture by the Southern mom. You can call me your crazy Aunt Michelle. How about that? <laughs> and not a lecture, a pep talk. Pep talk, girl. It's okay to believe in yourself. Not everyone will see how wonderful you are, and that's just a fact. Not everyone sees how wonderful I am. I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a lady just walked by my door with a large sword. You're in you're in the historic district of Savannah, aren't you? I'm not surprised. There's Loki. Look who joined the live stream. There's two black cats in the live stream now. Loki, are you eating my grapes? Excuse me, these are mine. Hi, baby. Oh my god, I love you. Oh my god. Is it dinner time? Is it dinner? He's blepping. I don't know if you can see it. Wait. He's blepping. Mm. <laughs> okay, we interrupt this live stream for a little bit of Loki love. This one, baby. Okay, okay, back to crochet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Rebecca, anyone doesn't see you. Well, you know, there's always someone. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to come down on myself. I'm just trying to say, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, okay? People, like, 
people clicking through uh, YouTube and seeing me just crocheting on the live stream and drinking wine and joking about my cats, you know, I can understand why people would be like, oh, click away. <laughs> but if this is your thing, hey. <laughs> okay, where am I? What am I doing? I'm at the end of this row. So I'm on row 14. Oh, I got a chain stitch, three chains. Hang on. So that's just kind of me acknowledging that, yeah, I get it. I'm not everyone's, I'm not everyone's thing. My channel's not going to be for everyone. That My, you know, my army of magical beings is not going to be for everyone. Wait, did I just mess that up? No. Two, three. But for those of us who are into it, we're going to rock. Okay. What? Oh, wait, did I do this wrong? What, are you judging me? Scott is like right outside my door judging me. Somebody summoned me. Somebody summoned you? I heard magic. Oh, you heard magic? There's lots of magic in the chat tonight. Is there? Yes. Oh, smashing. There's lots of magical creatures. Perhaps I will teleport to it. Oh, I see. Do we need a wizard in the chat now? I Scott's a wizard. Mine. Kidding, not kidding. Or a spell. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. We've got what? We got like 10 minutes left. <laughs> okay, well, hang on. So I just did that 11 times. Yeah, so then I do the two, then I'm supposed to do 21 chain stitches. Y'all, why am I like this? I think I know what I'm doing, and I'm like, ta da! <laughs> this is the story of my life. That is the story of my life. I'm like, ta da! And then, oh. All right. Mmm, Scott might be able to make you into a winged creature. Oh, can you list all of us? I don't know if I can. Let's see, we've got the uh, Clydesdale Centaur and the Servitar and, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I need to now do, tw okay, it's time for me to count again, y'all. Chat amongst yourselves or count with me. Hang on, because I've got to make 21 chain stitches. So here we go. One. Um, eh. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, God, it feels like we're never gonna get there. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, did I say 14, 12, 16, 17, 18, why am I like this? 19, 20, 21, oh, that was excruciating, okay. We counting in French. Ah, uh, yes. You know what? I was thought in Taekwondo class we count in Korean, but I can only count to ten in Korean. So I'm like, oh. I think Scott can count to twenty one in Korean, but um, so and I can count to ten. I can count to ten in a lot of things. I can count to twenty one in German. I should have done it all in German. Look at me. So Rebecca, geek girl, you are here. What is going on in your house tonight? Because I know you like to. You guys, last time we're doing um crafty things. Is Evie up? Uh, are we learning to crochet? I'm trying to figure out how not to twist this. Don't get it twisted, girl. Because now I have to do three double chains onto this right here. But I can't, this can't be twisted. I can't, actually that looks pretty good. Nobody move, don't move. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> okay, wait. y'all <coughs> okay <laughs> okay so i am putting this in right where here no here no here 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 there we go <laughs> i can't believe it was like okay nobody move and then it totally fell okay hang on this is tricky nobody panic <laughs> Panic. Okay, 
So that's one. Okay, and then two, do I do two or three? Three, okay, so. <laughs> Don't judge me. How dare you? First of all, how dare you? Okay. So, geek girl, refinishing furniture, huh? Okay. Okay, that sounds, I don't know. What does that sound like? Do we like that? Is that fun or is that boring? Are you glad to have a distraction? Where is, what's the stitch I put? What the stitch? Where are my stitches at? Okay, I think that's the thing. Okay, so that's, okay, so I've got, that looks messed up, y'all. And I was showing it to my phone. Why am I like this? I don't understand. Oh, Evie's in bed, back to school. I was wondering when she would be up and I was like, mm hmm she's letting her child stay up late at night. I'm not judging because my child stays up. He's homeschooled though. So like when he stays up late, he can like always sleep in whenever he wants the next morning. Um, but, excuse me again. Uh, but I was wondering, oh, she's in bed. Bless her. I love that child. That first day of school pick was so cute. Those babies' faces. <gasps> okay. Now we do times six. So to, I got to get to the end of this row. Is that what I'm doing? I think so. Yes. Okay. So I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think I know what I'm doing. Did I just say that? Okay. Y'all wait. Okay. It's 1028 and I know it's like almost time for the live stream to, do, to be done, but I think we need to see if I can make it all the way to the end of this stupid row. Okay. Why is that dumb? Okay. Did I do that right? Did I do the extra chain stitch? Then a double crochet stitch, then a chain stitch, then another double crochet. Am I even showing you guys? Yeah, circa 1980s oak set. My mom is German and English. My dad is a Clydesdale. I used to live in Germany. My dad was in the Air Force and we were stationed in Germany for a while. It was wonderful, such a beautiful country. But that's why I can count to German. Count to German, that's why I can count in German. That's why I can count in German. <laughs> Y'all. Okay, so. I'm almost there, kids. I'm almost there. Things are happening. This is just, this is beautiful. Okay. It's slightly weird, but I mean, so am I. Okay. One last one, right? I was yep, 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 yep. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh huh, uh huh. There we go. There we go. That was the one row we just knit that went all the way across here and then across here and then across here and then across here. We have made it look like a tiny pair of underpants. Well, I guess it's not tiny. It's tiny for me. <laughs> okay, so we did I take an hour to do row 13? Scott's here, Zazui. Oh, he just teleported in. That's my guy. That is my, it's a big improvement. The geek girl says, oh, sorry, my computer's being weird. My stuff's being weird too tonight, Zadel. Well, y'all are staying in furniture. Good for you. Yeah, oh, did a good job. I don't know about doing a good job. We will see. We will see. I'd love to be able to make these. Do you know what I really want to make? All y'all that have been here forever. Have you seen them that have the little unicorn horns on them? Like little plush spiral unicorn horns. I really want to make the bonnets. Here, I'll show you the picture. But the ones that I have seen have um, 
like just a little plush unicorn horn right here that cut and it's a short like two three inches long so it just come out the front and oh like i wouldn't do those for photo shoots or anything but just for everyday writing how fun is that um anyway that would be kind of the goal so i'm about to my step yeah all right i need some more i'm out of my wine i gotta use my diet dr pepper now I am not even inebriated. People, people. Okay, so I spent an entire hour on one row. This row of the pattern. If you're joining me on the live stream and <laughs> you were like, hey, I'm going to show up. This lady knows what she's doing, right? She's She's got a YouTube channel. She's she's legit, right? She, <laughs> and you tuned in and I'm here drinking wine and trying to do math <laughs> and count things. So I'm going to be on row 14 next. It looks like it's relatively uncomplicated. I think it's just going all, hmm. Let me see. All right. We're going to call this a day. I am going to continue to post pictures. I will post on um, pictures of the progress of everything on Instagram and on Facebook. You can find me on both of those places um, online and you could follow along what we're doing. I also have a blog, Unicorn and Centaur. Um, we have a website. It's a free one, you know, unicornandcentaur.weebly.com. And there's a blog and there's something new every day. Like Monday, I just do an update of what's going on in the week. Um, Tuesdays is information about the live stream. Wednesdays, I'm usually tired after the live stream, so I'll just post like an inspiration, something, a quote that inspires me in a picture. And then um, Artex has a blog on Fridays. My horse Artex does his Dear Diary posts on Friday. And then Saturdays, I do a blog post about things that inspire me, people or businesses or um, ideas or whatever. Um, so if you're not sure where to go to find out what to do for Unicorn and Center, you can just go to unicornandcenter.weebly.com any day of the week and see what I'm doing. And if you live in the Savannah area and you want to take a unicorn, uh, you want to have a unicorn ride or unicorn photo shoot or to take centaur lessons, call me. Just kidding. Don't call me. Text me. <laughs> Send me a message. Let me know. We'll put you on the schedule. So uh, what time is it? It is 1034. We are uh, late. So on behalf of Loki, who went somewhere, and Scott, who is in the chat. Hang on. Wait, wait. Before I sign off, I got to see what's going on in the chat so I can say goodbye to you guys. Thank you, Zadel. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. Um, uh, thank you, Willow. Thank you, Marvel. Thank you, Rebecca, um, Taylor, everybody who joined us tonight, you guys, I really have, the live streams are fun because I get to interact. The interacting with a live audience is fun. Um, it's like improv for introverts, <laughs> you know, getting to hang out with the people and just, and find out what you guys are doing and what you guys are into. <laughs> Stay with me, Michelle. I'm here all day, every day. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I tracked all the sad puppies on Twitter. Aw. You know what? I do have a Twitter account for the horses, but I stink at Twitter. Like, I'm not even, like, I don't know if I do Twitter right. I just sort of post links to everything else. Maybe I'll get my Twitter game on point. But I do have a Twitter. So, yeah. I want to make a bonnet that will actually fit Hedwig. You know what? Um, Yeah, I, for the drafts. I'm going to see what this size comes out as. Rebecca, I've got you in mind the whole time. For y'all who don't know, Rebecca has a gigantic horse. Um, so, Rebecca, I do have you in mind, and that was one reason I didn't mind doing my practice one in such a large gauge, because I wanted to try it on page, the draft that's out at the barn, and see if that would be... So I could tell you, girl, get hook G, get this size yarn, you know, and then you'd be able to knit it up by this pattern. So... Um, thinking about you. So I want to see the differences. I'm using a smaller needle, uh, a thinner needle and thinner yarn for this one. So I'm going to see the size differences and see if I can recommend you uh, uh, what to get. And I'm going to see if I can figure that out relatively quickly so you can get this done. So now those are the airs. Yeah, y'all, Scott sometimes speaks in riddles. You won't always know what he's talking about. <laughs> Costume bar crawl tonight, seeing many people in outfits. I don't know who is Marvel Make Stuff. She's one of our subscribers. She does illustrations on her channel. I think she's she might be Liam's age or a little bit older. She does really great. You have to go check. Scott, go check out her channel because you'll like her um, computer animations. Um, so, yes. 
Queen Mom. Let's see. Queen Banana. Who's Queen Banana? Wait. Come back next week. Wait, where'd Jean go? Who's Jean? Oh, wait. Was that Weldon? Hang on. Was there a Jean in here? If there was a Jean, that might have been my friend Weldon. Jean. Oh, it is. Hey, Weldon. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking the chat. Every time before I go, I want to check and make sure I didn't miss anybody. Yes, next week. Weldon, please come back. Next week we're doing tech chat, but like Weldon, I know you're Weldon knits a lot of things for his church. Um, like uh and for knits gifts for people, scarves and table runners and things like that. Um, yes, come back and work on your projects with me. Oh, please, 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 and be in the chat. Um, I used to do theater with Weldon years and years ago. Or do you go by Jean now? Am I saying, am I like not saying the right name. Oh my God, please help me. <laughs> uh, yes, Weldon. Um, but we used to do theater together. He plays the piano, he's a musician. And so we used to do um, shows at this the uh, theater in Wichita Falls, Texas. So, night, have to sleep. Yes, don't miss the bus tomorrow. We're here every Tuesday. All right, I think I've caught up with everybody. Thank you guys so much. I think you, I saw a couple new people subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. And we're gonna do this again. Next week is Tack Chat. Adriana's gonna be back. And um, I'll see you guys next time. <gasps>